guys, welcome back. Today I have an Ulta haul to share with you guys and I'm so excited about it. And it has been absolutely too long since my last upload. I am so, so sorry. But what can I say, life happens. I've gotten sick quite a bit, three times within almost one month's period. Mark got sick, Max got hurt, and that was just too, too much. So I really had to just stop and take my health back. I really had to stop and focus on me and just life. I'm number one, a Christ follower, I'm a wife, I'm a dog mama and I do have a career and I have so many hobbies and I really had to put myself first. I had to get my health back and I'm feeling better than ever. And not only did I had to get like my like health health back, but I am so focused on my fitness journey right now and I'm really excited about it. I truly am. And and there's nothing like hitting some of those fitness goals and milestones and then I get a new pair of shoes so I'm loving it and I definitely want to take the time to say thank you to every single one of you who have stayed and continued to support me through my little time off here on YouTube I appreciate you so much more than you will ever know and a big thank you to every single one of you who have reached out to me and have sent me a message I truly appreciate it. I missed y'all. I missed filming. Like, I missed this life as well. Also, I did post a picture on Instagram. So, I posted a picture on Instagram probably, I don't know, two weeks ago. And I asked for video ideas or a video request. And I got a ton of comments and some great ideas. And... I took note of them, so I also wanted to give you guys a chance to let me know what you would like to see from a little comeback as well. So let me know in the comments down below any video ideas or video requests that you would like to see. Okay, so how about enough of that little update and let's go ahead and get into this Ulta haul. Okay, so I am so excited about these new goodies. And the first items that I want to share with y'all are some hair care products. This is shampoo and conditioner. And this is by the brand Not Your Mother's, but it's their natural line. The packaging is what sold me. Like, I'm a couponer, so I typically use, like, the shampoo and conditioner that we have, like, in our stockpile. But, mmm. When I saw these and I smelt them, I had to have these in my life. So they came home with me, plus they were on sale, plus I had a coupon, duh. So this is the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom. It's a nutrient rich shampoo and conditioner. This shampoo is to detox and purify for healthier hair and scalp. So this is their undressed formula free of sulfates, silicones, gluten, parabens, and dyes. So I have used these already. And so the one thing that I did notice about the shampoo is it doesn't like get super foamy or bubbly. Like you have to use a lot of it. And the foam or like the bubbles, it's not a lot. And I like that. Like I like a super foamy shampoo and a face wash because I feel like it's really cleaning my hair. So I don't really know how I feel about it just yet. I've been using it for maybe a week. Absolutely love how they smell. Like look how pretty, ooh, look how pretty the green and the pink is. Okay, next up I picked up a hair mask again by Not Your Mother's Naturals. This is the Nutrient Rich Butter Mask. It's a deep conditioning with antioxidants to help restore damaged hair. Smells exactly like the shampoo and the conditioner. So, so good. It smells so good. Like, I almost didn't get this one, and I almost got the coconut with the sea salt mask. But I was like, no, like, let me let me keep it all in the same family. And isn't this packaging just so gorgeous? Like, I'm so obsessed. Okay, next up, I bought two skincare products. And the first item is an oldie but a goodie, and it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. And I absolutely love this. This is the water gel. It's amazing for oily to combo skin, which is what your girl has. And, I mean, this is probably like my sixth or seventh repurchase of this. I feel like it lasts a long time. I don't use it a.m. and p.m. During the morning time, I use this, but it's like the SPF version. It comes with like a little like squeezy. It comes with a pump and it has SPF in it. This one does not have SPF in it. I absolutely love this. Like honestly, I've used this one 
for the PM. I use the one with SPF for the AM. I also have the serum and I use that at night too. Absolutely love it. I also have the face wash. It's like the scrub. I use that every night. I absolutely love this line. There hasn't been anything that I've tried that I haven't liked. And there are so many new products in this line that I would love to try. So I had to pick this up because I ran out and I love it so, so much. So if you are in the market for a new moisturizer, oily to combo skin, it's not going to clog your pores. It's going to make your skin feel so smooth and supple. You need this in your life. Okay, the next skincare product that I picked up is for my under eyes. And this is by Olay. It's called Olay Eyes. And it's for tired and dehydrated eyes. And let's see, it says it's a deep hydrating eye gel. I'm super excited about this. I can't remember who I heard or who I saw using this. I was watching somebody's video. They were using this. They were raving about it. And it's kind of pricey. Like this was 30 maybe $40 for this little bitty thing. Like, let me open it up so you guys can see how small it is. I think it was $30. $30 for half an ounce of product. Okay, so I just opened it up. It looks like the hydrogel that I use. I'm hoping that I'll see a difference when I use it. Okay, moving right along to some makeup products. Okay, so one of the first items that I picked up, and I have been using this for a little while now. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, and I picked it up in the shade Caramel, which is, like, to me, the perfect match. I absolutely love it. You don't get a lot of product. You only get .32 of an ounce, and I think this was $25, and I have already used quite a bit. I am like obsessed with this foundation. I do have oily to combo skin, but for some reason, like I am getting like a little bit drier in some areas and this stuff is clinging to it. Now, it's not very creamy. If you have a really dry skin, I do not recommend this. I have oily to combo skin and at the end of a really long day, this, this doesn't look that great. So, it's amazing to wear to work if you only need it for like an eight to nine hour day. It does need a little bit of touch up if you're oily, like it's going to shift a little bit in your T-zone, but I love the coverage. I love that it, it gives so much coverage, but it feels very lightweight. Now, if I had to compare this to the Hourglass Stick Foundation, it is. It does not have near as much coverage. It is not as creamy, but it works better for oily to combo skin. Love this. Okay, one of the next items that I picked up is a primer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. And I haven't used it, but I have tested it, like, on the back of my hand. And I'm a little disappointed. Like, this is, like, a little bit pricey for a drugstore primer. And when I read that something's mattifying, I don't know. I guess, like, in my mind, it has, like, a very silky, instant mattifying effect. And this feels like a lotion. It feels like a moisturizer. I'm really curious to see how it works. Now, like, I can feel that it's gotten, like, a little bit smoother. It feels more silky as it's, like, drying down into my skin. Maybe it looks a little bit more matte or maybe it just like soaked into my skin and now I don't really see it at all. But I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, next up is another product that I have been wearing and this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. But oh my goodness, they finally have made it in a shade for brown girls. This is in the shade Deep Bronzer. So like this is the deepest shade. So they could definitely improve on that if this is the deepest shade. But I'm super glad that I get to use it because I would hear every body raving about this last summer. And I was just like, cool. I don't get to try it. But now I do, or I have, and oh my goodness, so worth the rave. I am oh so obsessed. It is creamy, it's buttery, it's so blendable. It looks amazing on the skin. It smells amazing, like, <sighs> I love it so, so much. I really wish that they would come out with more shades so that everybody could just enjoy the amazingness of this butter bronzer. I picked up the Ardell 113s. Now, I tried these out to was it two years ago in like one of the Ardell lash books 
fell in love with the 113s and ever since I have been trying to find them and I can never find them anywhere. Happened to stroll into Ulta and they had the twin packs that were BOGO half off. I had to pick them up. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about these. Okay, and the last item that I picked up and I'm so excited for, like, oh my goodness, I am so excited and I have not used it. I have not swatched it, <sighs> but it's about to go down. I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette and I am so excited about it. You have no idea. Now, I typically don't buy eyeshadow palettes that often. Like, it really has to call for me. When I walked into the store, they had two left. I was just like, you're coming home with me. So, I'm so excited about this. If you would like a look from this palette, let me know in the comments down below. Alrighty, well, that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little comeback Ulta haul. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified every time I have an upload. And one more time, thank you so, so much for all the continued love and support. I truly appreciate it. Alrighty, well, that's a wrap. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.